Hey guys, Editing Joker here, and before we start the actual video, just wanted to remind everyone that I am doing another Q&A video. Uh, here's the thumbnail for it. I'll have the link in the description in one of those card things that are in the corner of the video. I don't know what they're called. Um, but if you want to ask me some questions, learn a little bit more about me as a person, you don't have to, but I'm opening it up to the field for you guys to pretty much go wild and ask me anything that's not disturbingly so spicy it belongs in the deep web but yeah just want to keep that in mind i will be taking questions for the next week or so and then i will record myself answering them probably the start of next week next next monday technically i guess is how we'll how we'll put that um but yeah let me know if you have any questions put them in the comment section of that specific video don't put them literally everywhere because i'm not going to find them all please go on to that video that i put in the description and all that uh but yeah let's move on to your regularly scheduled content now good morning everyone it's joker and today we are back with another slime video and it is time to test out the new ex succubus violet and see how well she can do in this game now obviously her outfit is very um interesting I guess is the term that I will use um, but her kit is even more interesting so let's go over it real fast she is a space physical unit she's on warrior's mind primal demon and schemer which doesn't have too many units she uses a fist and then her skills are an AoE physical alt with 10% uh, extra skill points when you use it which I don't really think is that good of a thing it, it looks good on paper in practice when you nuke with her you get 10 skill points but ideally that's probably the same turn you're nuking with everybody else so you will already have used skills so you don't need any more at that time and if you do need more then this isn't going to help you because it's going to come after the fact so meh uh 200 uh damage on her ex ult so 600 percent alt damage which is really good her first skill Lowers alt resistance by 55%, which is fairly good because the last unit to do that was EX Raphael for 50%, and then Space Yuki for 25% AoE. So that's pretty good. And then she also gives all physical allies crit damage for 40%, which that's pretty big right there. That combined with, you know, Guy who's giving people crits, and you're going to do a lot of damage there. And then the alt resistance down will just mean that your alts will hit much harder, so that's really good. Her second skill is an orb steal, just like uh, the free-to-play water reamer that makes him really good, or the uh, light 3.0 milum. She has the attack buff and the orb steal as well. So this these are this is a really really good skill to have on a pure supportive unit because it means that she can sit in the back, you can bring her in, steal some orbs, make a full hand of blue, and then get her out of here, and then use it the next turn, because you're really only using her for support. You're using her on turn 8, when you have enough points to use the big time skills, which this team has a lot, and it's only going to get more expensive when the next unit comes out. So, she's actually built the way that I wanted her to be built. Right? I needed some kind of orb stealing or some other orb changing effect on this unit, and they gave it to her, which is really nice, and I'm really grateful. Her Valor trait, uh, you seal attack skills. It's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. And then her actual trait, if you have dupes in her, you get extra crit damage when you send a 6 combo of blues the next turn, up to 12%, which is actually less than Carrion's. He does 14 or 15%, so I don't know why they dropped it down, but yeah whatever and then if you get her to 120 you get an extra 20 percent crit damage and then she also needs a rimaru also needs a rimaru to activate this extra crit damage on her ex board so there's a rimaru coming i know it i know it and then she is a team buffer on her ex board as well so there's that let's get in here let's test out how much damage she can do with her own ex alt in beatdown battle and then we're going to transition into a more supportive role because she is she is a support unit so let's get started all right so we're going to beat down battle inferno one that way i don't have to stress about dying from counterattacks too much but this is the team we're going to bring belzard guy valentine 
Dark Valentine, who is now 100. Not skill fused yet, because I'm waiting to do the video for that. So she is still at the 60% maximum damage cap. Shion, and then Violet is in the back attached to Milim. So she has the second highest attack stat. I've got the charm on Belzar to give the person with the highest attack stat the orbs. So ideally, I'll have Violet in front and Guy in the back. So I can give her as many stacks to get her EX alt. But this should do quite a bit of damage with her EX alt. 600% damage, plus all the extra buffs, plus the extra 60% uh, alt damage we're going to get from Violet that's going to stack on top of Guy. So that's what? 140% uh, alt damage right there. It's going to look pretty good. So let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. She's going to do a lot of damage. And she's going to help Guy and... A potentially an Earth Rimuru do a crap ton of damage. So let's get her in here for Guy now. We'll leave uh, Valentine in here for her trait. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then with her turn two trait, we should get the extra. Okay. Well, I said I wouldn't worry about counters, but that was a lie. <laughs> that was a lie. So Violet, 9,800 on her 200% orb isn't the greatest thing in the world. But, eh, it is whatever. Um, yeah, we can do this. So let's do first stack of this, and then we can bring Shion in for this Valentine. And then use her orb change to get that full hand of blues. And then now Violet has the highest attack stat on the field. So she'll get those two stacks plus the extra attack buff, so there we go, and that looks good to me. So this Violet is will be a competent AoE unit, maybe a little bit too expensive for Valor Cup, uh, unless you're really trying to set up for it. Well, we can try, that'll be its own video. 10.5 uh, 10 now that we've gotten those two stacks. All right, so here we get lucky because we can use her skill to change those three oranges, and then we can just use Xion again. And then we'll be we'll be pretty well off. So let's use the steel right here. Let's use this orb change. And then we can bring Guy in now for Valentine. And change that last green orb. And then, hey, let's get a stack of crit damage. Because why not? Alright. So we'll send Guy last now that he's up here. He's going to do a lot of damage. All right, 5,000, 5,700, 64. He hasn't gotten the three stacks of attack, so it looks a little worse. And he guarded that, so... Oh, well, we have Violet's ult. That's very good right there. Let's go ahead and steal again. All right, and then we can use Guy. And we can get him out of here for Valentine. Use her next stack. And then use a crit damage stack. So that's 10% extra crit damage on Violet now. Another stack of Velzard. And then we'll send these blues right here. And we'll just work on getting her EX alt in the next couple of turns. I think if we get a few orbs and we get, you know, two more stacks of Velzard, we're going to get her EX alt and we can go hide her in the back for the next couple turns. Ooh. Perfect. Actually perfect how that worked out. So, let's Velzard again. Alright. RNG Jesus has blessed this run. I think we just need these three orbs. And, the, well, the five orbs. But I think after that we'll be set. So let's steal, let's orb change. Alright, and I think this gets us her ult. Indeedly dues. Alright, perfect. So then we can get one more stack of Velzard on her before we send her away. Okay, that's the first counter she took, I believe. Alright, so now we just need the insane amount of points to actually full buff this squad. <laughs> Alright, yeah, she needs to get out of here. Alright, so... One more stack. There's the EX alt ready to go. We have two more turns to do something with this. So let's get you out of here. And... Uh, ooh. These are unfortunate orbs, I think, is how we'll put that. Okay, let's get you out of here. And let's burn off these greens. They don't do much for us. Um, we can do the final stack of Valentine, though. 
One, two, three, four. Hopefully we get some blue orbs next turn. We'll have Guy. We have Sh we'll have Shion up front as well. All right. Uh, yeah, that works. Sure, why not? Okay, so let's do... You come out of here. You no longer have a purpose. That's not true. She does have a purpose. Oh, I don't have enough points. Ah, shit. Okay. Um... Mmm, sad days. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I shouldn't have used that stack yet. Oh well. Let's do this. Alright. We might have to push an extra turn or so to get the points that we need. I don't actually know how many points we need right now. We need 80, 80, 80 so, so 1, 2, 40. Okay, thanks guy for all the orbs. Uh, do, 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 8, 16, 24. I mean, technically we have enough. We haven't used the extra stack of Valentine, and we can't use an extra stack of crit damage. But I think we can at least see how much damage we would do here. So let's take you out for Shion, I guess. And then we'll use this final stack. And then we'll go with the three major buffs. And we'll just kind of call it here, at least for her damage showcase. We'll bring it back probably, and we'll show off how much Guy can do in this scenario with his EX alt. But for now, I want to see how much damage we can do with Violet. So, that's actually a full hand right there. So, Violet currently has 104% attack, 10% crit damage from Shion, 50% physical attack, guaranteed crits, 40% crit damage, and then the Orc has a 40% crit resistance down, and 55% alt resistance down. It's pretty good. Let's see all these guy orbs with one that's not nerfed, and then we'll send the alt for Violet. She's going to give us 10 points, so we'll be up to 81 after this, so whoop do you fucking do? <laughs> um, 87,000 on that. And then Violet. You can go ahead and watch this. It's her first time. She's putzing around up top, floating around, and now she's got a final flash coming in. Welcome to Oblivion. Poison it Nova for 838,000 damage on an AoE. I mean, that was a very strong AoE, but that's an AoE. I'd, oh man, I'd call, I'd call that, I would call that pretty dang good right there. Pretty dang good. So, Let's come back. I won't make you sit through it, but we'll come back when we have Guy's EX alt and we have this roughly the same setup. And we'll see how hard he hits now that Violet is here. Alright, we're back for the Guy nuke this time. So taking a look at his stats before we go, we do have a little bit extra attack than what we had last time. Uh, so, whatever. Oh no. Uh, we still have the 10% crit damage that we had like last time. 50% physical attack, guaranteed crit, 40% crit damage. The alt is double boosted, so 140% damage right there. And then we still have the two debuffs on um, on the orc. So, uh, how much health does he have? He has 866,000, which we knew, we know now that Violet on her AoE can do that. So, how much more damage is Guy gonna do here at level 120? And with a single target alt, let's, uh, he's gonna one shot. So let's find out exactly how much damage he does here. This should be our first time using his alt too. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch it. Cause this should be, I would be surprised if we, I think it's like 2 million right here. I think we're going to hit 2 million. Hell extermination for... Two, yeah, almost right on the dot. Two million damage right there. Now, that is in combination with Valentine, the old Dark Valentine, which we I haven't brought on this team in any showcases um, so far. It's always been the hero. So that would be like the 50% resistance down on top of the orb damage, which is cool, which is good if we can, you know, we need to hide his alt. But for this specific scenario, we brought the hero, or not the hero, but Valentine, and I think that helps us do a lot more damage, because I think on the the stream last night, 
we used the hero, and I think he was putting out like 1.87. So we did we did cross a little bit of a threshold there into the 2 million range now. And also, that Dark Valentine is not skill-fused, so we could have gotten another 20% alt damage. Just, you know, keep that in mind. But we know that she can make this team look good. She's a support unit for Guy for this incoming probable Rimuru. So let's move on to some teams that she's not truly dedicated for, but can definitely help support. Alright, so because the new Violet buffs physical characters' crit damage, right? We need to use her on a physical-focused team. And thankfully, the old Violet is also physical, and also can benefit from crit damage because she gives herself crit. So she is self-sufficient in that route. So this is gonna team we're gonna go, we're gonna bring her into EX5 of the Fire Tempered Edge, Toa, Violet, Violet, Benny Maru for the turn one orb change, Guy for the alt buff, and Shizu for the pierce power and the fire buff. So this team, I, I tested it out on stream last night in case you guys didn't know. So I know that it works and it can work really, really, really well. We just need a little bit of setup, but it's not, uh, what, what's, what's the term? It's not um, out of the realm of possibility as far as a usable, sustainable team is concerned. So we do have a set starting hand, which is nice. Uh, we do need more stamina. Showcases also always need more stamina, but whatever. So the blues orbs are nerfed for a few turns here. So it's just that we'll have to get around that. But, and we also have to make sure we don't have our actual Violet in for turn one because they do, he does nerf our crit rate or something like that for like seven turns or something, which you don't want. So we'll, uh, we'll just kind of run it like this. We'll bring Benny Mario in for Violet. We'll use the orb change and then we'll be on our way. So one, two, three, uh, what did I do? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So, Violet, the old Violet, gives herself crit and pierce and attack buff. Shizu's giving the pierce power, 15%, and also the massive 50% fire attack buff. So, we can hold all of those on Violet, and wow, that almost worked out really well. <laughs> almost. We don't have any other blue orb changer here, so, and none of these, these are not the same orbs, so... There's not much we can do about that, but we can at least try and make it work. So let's get uh, Benny Maru out. Let's steal the one, I guess. And then we'll bring other Violet in for Violet. And I think we'll go ahead and send it. Yeah, and that gets us close to double Toa, which is what we want. And now we just need to get an ult for Violet and then Use all the buffs, including the fire buff. Of course, she has no orbs. Thanks a lot. Uh, you're going to come back out then. <laughs> uh, sure. Thank, yeah, whatever, game. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Give me... That works. Okay, fine. That, that works out. So, Violet will come in for Shizu. We'll use her buffs and then we'll use Toa. These orbs will get us Violet's ult. Alright, so we'll send this because it has no meaning whatsoever. And then next turn we'll bring in Shizu, use her buffs, send Violet away, and then we have to build up to another 100 points plus Toa so we have enough to use both Guy's alt buff so we get the 50% alt buff and the 20% crit resistance down, and then we can use the 80 point buff from New Violet. So this should work out fairly well. Okay, so like I said, let's bring you in for Guy, and then we'll use uh, this buff, this buff. Violet still has our attack buff, still has the guaranteed crit and pierce, so she's good to go. You can come out of here as well. Now we just need to get more points. More points is the name of the game right here. So, uh, blues are nerfed now. Let's go ahead and, how much, how long are they nerfed? Four more turns, so quite a while. All right, um, we could use Toa 
we would just need to build up another Toa, which I think this is the best way to do it. Because this will get us a, a decent amount of gauge right here. It'll get us max points. And then we just have to worry about getting another Toa in, like, yeah, a quarter of a meter. Okay. We do have a type disadvantage unit up here, and he is about to alt, so actually maybe it was not the best idea to bring her in. Hopefully she doesn't die. Alright, good. Oh, wait, she's just dead. Shit. Okay, guy came in. Uh, we already used Shizu's buff, so it's not really that big of a deal. We just needed to make sure that Violet did not come in and we would lose her buffs. So now we just need a little bit extra right here. So let's do... Mm, do we do that? Do we just send these? Uh... I think we just do this. I think we just do this, and then we'll have one more turn to build up the uh, the damage. So Benny Mario, 25,000. Super cool. 9,200 on the pierce. The burn. Okay. So now we just need to do this. This won't... Hopefully she doesn't die from a counterattack or something. So now we're ready to go. We have enough points. Perfect. So, let's use Guy's alt buff here. So 50% and the 20% resistance down. That works out. Guy can come out of here. And then we can bring in Violet. We can use Toa to give us a full hand of oranges. And then we can also use the big time buff from Violet. So now 40% crit damage for both Benny Maru and Violet, even though Benny Mario is still nerfed, and then we get the uh, alt resistance down on Clayman. So we'll send Benny Mario because he will also lower defense. Uh, we'll send these orbs as well, and then we'll send Violet last, and we'll see how much damage she does. So Benny Mario, 58,000. He's still nerfed, so don't don't read too much into it. Violet's 200% orb though does 69k. Nice. And then her actual alt will do... It, it would have it killed a long time ago. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It would have killed a long time ago. Yeah, 368,000 damage. That's, that's pretty good right there. Pretty, pretty good. So, it can work. It can work. Yes, we had a unit die. Yes, we're bringing someone that's type disadvantage. But... In the reality of things, if you have buffs that you can hold on units in the back, then you can play around and you can use this very powerful 80 point buff on teams that generally don't have a lot of points to use. So let's move on to the next team we're going to use her on as a supporter. Alright, so the next team we're going to use is this space kind of 2.0-ish, AOE-ish team. We've got Frey, who's going to give physical characters crit, which our primary two damage dealers are going to be physical units, Violet and Yuki. And then we've got Isis for the green buff, Rimuru for the orange orb change, and the alt gauge increase on greens. Uh, Violet's here, obviously, for her buff. Space Milm is here for the space buff. Now, since Space Milm is magic, she won't benefit from the crit damage, and she also won't be getting crit from Frey. But I'm using her as also a 50% space attack roll to support Yuki and Violet. And then Yuki has his own personal attack buff for three turns, and he's an AoE physical unit. So this should work out fairly well. It's just that this stage, uh, Tempered Edge, doesn't have a set starting hand, so I'll need to reset a bit until we get a good first hand. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, I guess this works. The first one. <laughs> we, <laughs> we can use Violet's Orb Steel and make a full hand of blue and call it, call it good, so... Oh, no... Alright, let's get Yuki in here for Isis. We'll leave Reamer so we get the extra alt or protection gauge, which actually isn't going to matter because this is going to get us double. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Well, actually, it does matter. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, this works out really, really well. So, now we have a lot of gauge to play with. And we get a good starting, we get a good uh, second turn hand. 
And we get binded in, which is actually kind of unfortunate because I kind of wanted the Isis uh, green buff, but I guess we'll just have to wait on that. So, we do have our two primary AoE nukers, which is the more important thing. So let's get the extra alt gauge on greens, let's get the extra damage on greens. We're gonna give everybody on this field crit, it's from Frey. So it's, it's a good starting hand. And we'll send some damage on Dino now to make him hurt a little bit more. And we can also technically use the attack buff on Yuki because it lasts for three turns. So this is a this is a fairly good running team right now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, one, two, three, four, f 10,000 damage right there already. Pretty good. And then 22,000. All right, and then there's the blues. All right, so the blues are now nerfed, but only by damage. So we can we can kind of hold off and send these blues and uh, the bind will leave next turn, so we'll just kind of do this. Uh, yeah, that'll get us two more. Fr that's good. A double hand of fray right here. 13, 13, 800. Meh. Okay, so we have alts for Violet and Yuki, which is good. So that's where we want to sit. So now, actually, we we can do this. We can take Rimuru out, and then we can use the space buff here. Yuki still has his attack buff and his AoE buff. We can use Frey to give us 40 points, and then we can just straight up use the, um, the buff right here. So physical characters crit damage, and then alt resistance down on everybody. So we're going to hit probably pretty hard right here. And we still have another fray in the back, so um, let's go ahead and send Violet first. She will give us 10 skill points, which since I don't think we're going to kill here, it will actually matter. So we'll be up to 15 points next turn, which gives us enough to use the Isis green buff. So I mean, eh, eh, whatever. Cool. And then we'll send this on... we'll send this on you. Try and kill Valentine here. Oh, and that. Alright, so Violet, 51k across the board, okay. 11,000 from Violet, 23,000, and then Yuki's AoE should do probably quite a bit more because he's got that extra 25% attack buff on top of everything else, and holy shit, that's laggy. <laughs> holy shit. Alright, Yuki, what do you got? 90,000 damage on turn 4 on an AoE on a not EX unit. I you know what? I am I am not upset by that number at all. Uh let's get uh let's get Isis back in here for Milum. Yeah. So now we'll use the extra points right here. And then we'll bring Rimuru in and we'll use his debuff as well to get us extra alt gauge. And maybe we can get an EX alt with um, Violet. But now that we've used the skills, they're going to cost a lot more. So now it, we cannot use both at the same time. In le I think unless we have double fray. I don't know if that's going to work out. But let's go ahead and just send this on out of here. Yuki no longer has his attack buff, but we can reapply it. And also, we didn't save up to use Yuki's AoE debuff right here because we're already lowering, lowering the alt resistance with Violet by a higher amount. So this 25% would not have mattered at all. So just in case you were wondering. So let's go ahead and try and kill Milim here. Fairly certain we can. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe we can't because she's got a little bit too much defense now. Yeah, okay. But we have two alts. All right, one, two. Oh, we have an A. We have an EX alt. Okay. So let's go ahead and use her skill again. So alt resistance down, uh, crit damage up, and we can't use the space buff anymore. Yuki already has his attack buff, but eh, he doesn't have an alt. 
Uh, there's the crit, so now I think we're gonna safely wipe right here. So we'll send this and then pop, 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 pop. I think I think the EX alt just murders both of them. They're they're at low health. Oh wow, 51k, but it didn't kill either of them. Okay, so that that extra 50% space buff really mattered, because that was an EX alt, right? That was 600% damage, plus resistance down, plus crit, plus crit damage. I kind of expected more out of that. All right, Milam is dead, and then these follow-up will kill him. Yeah, okay, so there we go. I mean, turn four, that worked out fairly well. That was a decent chunk of damage we did that was relatively easy to get. Like, even if we hadn't started with the full hand of blues, we have Isis, so it wouldn't have been overly difficult to try and reset for a good opening hand of greens or something, and then use her buff next turn once we have a full fray, and then we could have almost gotten the same kind of result. But uh, that's that's really good for a burst team, right? So she can she can definitely work in both stacking teams and burst teams just fine. You just need a protector that's going to give you more skill points and hopefully eliminate some of the orb RNG that you're wanting to get around of. So fairly impressive right there. So we saw the her own stacking team. We saw the fire burst team, which wasn't really a burst because we went to like turn seven or something. This team definitely was bursty. Um, let's try the one more thing that I did on stream last night, and then I think we'll call it a video. Alright, Fount of Wisdom, also a physical team, also is blue focused, so Violet can slot in very well, stealing blue orbs for the team. Guy is here to give crits, Hinata is here, Hinata is here, so I'm gonna build up to the four hundred points that we need to make all of the 580 point buffs work and then we will nuke this sad sad type neutral predator battle and we can just see some stupid numbers right here so uh we'll we'll be back in a second all right we're here 14 turns eh, whatever but i mean it's predator battle also since it's type neutral we're not going to get that extra massive 60 percent damage buff we would get if we were fighting a water unit which is unfortunate but you gotta do with what you can do. So we have 430 points. We need 400 to use all five of the big time buffs. We have alts for Albus and Rimuru who are going to also buff up the power of EX Hanada's alt. So let's go ahead and do the buff right here. So that's physical characters crit rate. So Hanada and Albus will crit now, plus the 80% damage buff or alt damage buff. And then we'll get Violet in here for Guy. And then we will use her 50% or yeah, 55% resistance down, which will stack with Diablo. I'll show you that shortly. And then crit damage for Albus and Hanada, who just got crit rate from Guy. So it works out very well. And then we'll bring in Rimuru, who will then we will use everything else. So his physical buff, Hinata's attack buff for everyone. The alt damage right here doesn't matter because it's being overshadowed by Guy. And then Pierce and Pierce resistance down. So we're going to do some big damage. And then Rimuru and Albus both lower defense and increase Pierce power, right? Pierce power 5% and, yeah, lowers defense by 5. So Hinata, as you can see, the 40% buff that she gave herself is being overshadowed by the 80% from Guy. So we're only getting 80. And then the spider right here has 180% alt resistance down for 180%, and then another 55% from violet skill. So because it's not grayed out, they do stack together because this one is a permanent debuff, and this is a temporary one-turn debuff. So that's why. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't use violet with the fantasy Millum, it's because they both have temporary crit damage buffs. So Violet would have given her 40%, but if Milam had 54% or 42% or whatever, that would have overridden the 40% from Violet. So the only thing we'd be getting at that point is the alt resistance down, and that's a lot of points. So that's why we didn't use it her with uh, with Milam. So also the 20% physical resistance and the 50% resistance down. So let's go ahead and send these two. Let's send this, this, and then we'll send Hinata, and this will be the end of the video. So Violet fairly good support unit on multiple teams not just having to be focused on blue orbs albus uh one million and then hinata we'll watch this 
But again, um, Violet's pretty good. However, I still recommend people wait for this probable incoming Rimuru to see how good he is. And then once you pull him, because he's going to be DPS. Uh, Hinata does how much? 1.8 million? It's pretty, it's pretty good. Type neutral, right? We would have done like three or something like that if we had uh, uh, gotten more. Maybe not three, but much, much higher than that. But Violet, I think, is a fantastic option. It's just that we know that a Rimuru is coming, and we generally know that he's going to be DPS. And so you probably need him more than you need another support unit, because there are many support units in this game that, you know, Violet is good, but you can easily put someone else who maybe isn't quite as good, but can still achieve the same uh, effect of buffing your DPS. So I think it's better to save for the DPS than it is to get a support unit. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think about Violet in the comments below. Uh, but overall, I'd give her I'd give her a solid eight. I'd give her a very solid eight, eight and a half around there. Viability on other teams, good on her own, supportive kind of the units that I'd like to see. But that's it for me. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.